got a few arrivals. Uh, a few little small things. It's been a while. I will say uh, my ODG gang stickers came in. <laughs> it was uh, three for ten. Although, look at this one. It's all fucked up. you think they would have seen that when they were packing and say, all right, that's no good. But they didn't, so. I don't know why I got these, but I figured, fuck it. ODG. So those are cool. Um, let's see. Uh, Cobra Deck. This one is from uh, Millspec Retail. Cool. This is the Reptilia MRO mount. I believe is my Arasaka. I hope I got the right one. I think I got the right one. So there's the Arasaka. Grabbed another one of those. Let's check this guy out. Atilia. Packaging is cool colorful and shit, you know, sometimes you get stuff from high-end companies and it comes in just some plain cardboard box. It's one of those fold-outs. Well, I don't want to rip you. Oh, it's a sticker. Got it. Oh, well. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Branding, it's important. Especially when people spend... Higher and higher amounts of money. Oh, nice! Look at that sticker. That's pretty. That's pretty sick. I love my stickers. <laughs> so we got we got our ODGs and we got our reptilias. That's a green kind of day. Cool, man. All right. Let's see. We got screws, Allen key. Look at that. Oh, it, the color in person is so much nicer. And nice and dark. that's going to match the rain. Awesome, dude. That's going to match the rain. Awesome. Look at that. Now, this is lower one third. I wanted a 193, but I just couldn't seem to track one down. Let me double check. Lightweight, slimline mount for Trigicon MRO. Lower one third co witness. All right, so. I'm not going to do the full thing right now, but <clears throat> safety check, we're clear, pull your shorts up, <laughs> going to fill my belt on, let's see, my, uh, yeah, that looks pretty decent, I guess, there, let's Of having issues with this uh, stand the main head unit thing kind of broke so I'm kind of like Jimmy rigging it can't really articulate it forward anymore all right so I, I did see some guys complain that they said the lower one-third basically matched the height of the stock mount and there's no way to really know until I take that off. So that's a Torx. Hold on. There's my Torx. It's even open to, to a size. Is this for this one or was I doing something else? No. Let's see. I 
I think that's it. But sometimes it'll grab it by the teeth, but it's not really the, the right size. You find out when you go to tighten. That was on there. Okay. Let's do a little test fit. All right, that's just a simple flathead, huh? I don't know if this needs to be loosened. I assume it does. I just want to see the contrast. I love that color. It's a nice, it's also anodized, so it's a nice contrast, you know. I was getting really bored with black everything, you know. That's a, that's a nice solid mount. I mean, it's not scalar works, but it's not quick release, but yeah, I'm not going to go any further on that because I want to mount it to the MRO. But I love that color. And the rain, I, it's hard to do, you look at pictures of stuff online, it's, especially with the anodized stuff, I've noticed, it's, uh, it's hard to really tell what it looks like in, in real life. It's a, a lot like these, uh, ODG mags, where, you know, actually that's a good, pretty realistic depiction, but some, you take pictures with flash, and this will look kind of bronzy, you know, so, especially with the anno stuff. But I like that contrast. I think it adds a nice little bit of different, and they're uh, and it's also still anodized, so it's got that cool sheen to it that anodization has. Uh, awesome! Can't wait till the rain. The rain. I don't know. I think that shows up Monday, uh, and then I'll be moving this ProTac over to the uh, spikes. V7 build. So that's going to go on there. My goal was like, you know, I'm done spending crazy money, but I want at least all my rifles to have an optic and a light. So this is this uh, Spark AR is going to get moved over to the V7 spikes. The Holosun 403 GR Elite is going to go over to the Pony. And I have something else showing up for this. That's, uh, it's, you know, whatever. You'll see it when it comes. It's, it's the opposite of fancy. But for a, a PCC that I haven't even shot yet, it, it'll suffice. And it's FTE, so whatever. Uh, and then I'll have the rain going around here. So this cloud defensive, all that is going to, and the ProTech is going to go over there. Which is cool. Whatever. At least I'll have lights on everything. So... I love the way that looks. That's awesome. All right. I'm going to uh, pop this mount off. How do you get to the fucking screws, though? Oh, okay. Go through the hole, man. All right, so undo that. Remove that. All right, cool. I'll do that real quick. All right, there we have it. I like it. It'd be cool if Trigicon came out with some anodized, like ODG and FTE uh, optics. That would be cool. Same. You know, now that I look at it, I'm wondering, should I swap this ODG Anno Geisley for the FTE Anno? This one's slightly wider. Uh, that's an idea. I mean, that's all FDE, but still. But no, I'll leave it the way it is. Let's see how that looks. Contrast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, now I'm just stoked to get the rain and see how that looks on there. I think its color scheme is going to be a little bit darker than this overall. And from the pictures I've seen, uh, there's a few different variations of the anodized FDE. I don't think it's all one static 
like this. I think it's a few different shades kind of blended in with the cap and all that. So cool, cool. We got the Arasaka for the rain when it comes. This Arasaka will be moving over with the Cloud Defensive to this guy right here. I'm going to lose uh, my right, or at least this one section of Centurion Arms. Whatever, what is what it is. And we'll be uh, good to go, I guess. Right on. Just a little quick update. It's a cool sticker, man. Doing all these stickers. I'm a little uh, puzzled as to why they wouldn't catch that. But is, it, is it a big deal? No. In fact, this is the one I'll probably slap on the old toolbox when I get ready. Where are all my stickers? Where are Where's my big bag of stickers? What's this? It's grass. No. What the fuck? <laughs> I lost my... Misplaced my sticker collection, huh? It's a big plastic bag. Oh, wait a minute. No. Well, that's weird. Oh, there they are. With the rest of the guys, they swag. So we'll pop these bad boys in there. I don't know what to do with these yet. I don't know why I dropped 10 bucks on these. They're not even that high. They're not really good quality or anything. I don't know. I just wanted something for me. That was kind of cool. Whatever. Put you over here, buddy. For now. aesthetics all right so next update will be when the rain shows up we'll, i'll do an unboxing we'll check it out i'll check out that sixty thousand candela woot woot see what a real light's supposed to be see how it compares to the mod light uh, from what i understand it's um it's a more much warmer light than the mod light different temperature i think 40k so you know Good for photonic barriers and all that at night. So we'll see. It'll be a good setup. I think it's going to look good with the FDE Anno. A little bit of contrast on the green. It's not a true Fed build. It's just, you know, my version of one. Eventually, down the line, I'll try to find an ODG Anno light, either Mod Light or another Rain or, or an Owl. Uh... See if Reptilia does this in ODG. Although my next mount's probably going to be a Scalar Works 193. Uh, so yeah, just, you know, having some fun with it. Thanks for checking it out. Have a good day. Guns America.